YouTube, my grow bros and my grow gals and my cannabis enthusiasts, my ganja smokers, my tokers, my medicators, and everyone that partakes in the cannabis. Welcome to a beautiful update. We got a great update today. We're going to talk a little bit about some pests. Um, to be specific, we're going to talk about thrips. Here's the beautiful cannabis garden, you guys. It is looking good. We're going to do another update video after this, but I'm going to dedicate this one to thrips. Thrip mites, T H R I P. I've had a bad case of them in the last couple weeks. And while we talk about it, I want to let you guys know this is an adults only video. We are abiding all state regulations and guidelines and laws. Do not attempt to grow in your state if illegal. And don't sell. I don't do any of that stuff either. I just uh, grow for myself. So, yeah. Don't recommend doing any of this. And if you're 18 or younger, you know, go watch Spongebob or something. All right. So first things first, we need to get smoking. Oh, yeah. I hope everybody's token with me. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Makes me feel great. It makes me feel great. Let's get started. Let's talk about some thrips, you guys. So thrip damage is uh, not highly detrimental to your plants unless you don't take care of it. It takes a little bit of time for these guys to settle in depending on the extremity of your infestation. Now I believe it came from this son of a gun right here which I'll be moving into the front yard and uh, spraying down with some uh, trifecta spray just due to the fact that's a fruit plant, bud plants, never had bugs, just introduced this a few weeks ago, now I have bugs. So culprit. Don't know what to do with it but no longer allowed in my cannabis garden. So next video, she'll be gone. Anywho, let's get started, you guys. I want to show you some thrip damage to leaves so you guys can identify yourselves if you have thrips. Now, thrip damage looks silvery, and it turns the leaves just not green. Like, you know, just doesn't make them look good. For example, you guys, this is a perfect leaf right here. I will actually just pull this one off and show you guys. This is an exact leaf, big or small, of what thrips do to your plant. So you've got the uh, silvery spots, you've got a little bit of yellowing, discoloring, and you have little black dots on your leaf. Those little black dots on your leaves, you guys, uh, that's thrip poop. So you don't want that on your cannabis. They do uh, tend to lay eggs on the back of the plant, you guys, so make sure you're spraying underneath your leaves if you do spray. But that is an example of thrip mite damage right there, you guys. And, uh, you know, catch it early enough, you'll be okay. I made up a home remedy, you guys, um, to uh, take care of my thrips because, you know, we're budget growing here. We're, uh, we don't got a lot of money over here. We're, uh, you know, we're doing our thing. So what I do, you guys, is you take 32 ounces of water. You take one tablespoon of Dawn dish detergent, dish soap, whatever you guys got. I mixed one half teaspoon of cow mag and one half teaspoon of silica in with that spray bottle as well. Um, and that I used in the very early in the morning before the sun came up. I sprayed all my big fan leaves and I sprayed them plants down. Now I did this a few days ago and the buds were a lot smaller. I don't recommend doing this when you guys are in the middle of flower. Just due to the fact the soap will break trichomes down and you don't want that. So um, what I do is you just go around, spray towards the outside of the plant going down this way, hitting all the fan leaves and then you come in from the upper side and then you hit all the fan leaves from the upper side. I did that for two days straight you guys and it cured up about 65 maybe 75 percent of my thrip my problem um i'm gonna do one more treatment and then go get predatory ladybugs today um i heard ladybugs are the effective way of curing a thripe mite problem so we're gonna take care of that i also am gonna back that up with some yellow sticky traps for the adults the adults have little tiny fuzzy wings and they kind of 
glide and fly around everywhere. So we're going to take care of that, you guys. So here's a little upper leaf damage for thrips. thrips excuse me. And uh, yeah, just, you know, it gets silvery. They're still green. They still grow. Everything looks good. But, you know, when you have that on your... No thanks. No thank you. So we're just going to... Uh, you know, use that remedy. That's a home remedy. I'm sure everybody's got some Dawn dish detergent at home. If you don't have the silica or calc mag, the one tablespoon, 32 ounces, is uh, good. Don't go any more than that. Um, I, you know, or else it'll just pool up on the plant. And you don't want to see a bunch of white spots on your plant. You're going to have to rinse them off later with just a regular water wash. Um, but if you're in the middle of flower, like you can see my beautiful plants are right now, about a couple weeks in, you know, something I would only do maybe one more treatment with the soap and water, and I don't want to do any more than that because I don't want to break down any of the beautiful trichomes, flavors, terpenes that these plants are going to produce. So, yeah, so that's thrips, you guys. They come in, they wreak havoc, and they're tiny, tiny, tiny little creatures. So hopefully this helps you guys cure your uh, mite problem and thrips. Don't ever forget, 32 ounces one tablespoon dish soap, one half teaspoon of CalMag and silica. Then you spray your plants in the morning and spray your plants at night. For three days, I did two, cured about 75%. I just didn't have time to do a third day. If I did do, I am gonna do a third day, but I will be using ladybugs as uh, beneficial predatory mites. Um, you can also get nematodes and also predatory mites as well from Amazon, you guys. I've been looking, but I need a right now method, so that's why I chose the soap. And this is three days later after treatment, and the plants are blowing up. So thanks for cruising in and checking this update out, guys. Hopefully I helped you with your problems with mites and thripes. Don't forget to check out that trifecta... Um, you know, bug, mold, mite, mildew, uh, killer, and repellent. Um, killer stuff. I heard it's very good. I've heard a lot of great reviews on it. Um, so, yeah, don't forget to check that out, guys. I hope everybody stays blessed, stay medicated, stay lifted. And most of all, you guys, be yourselves. Don't form to con society and conform to society, excuse me, and be yourself. You know, do your thing. Always look forward to tomorrow. We're out.